This is the Morning Drive, brought to you by NationalBlue.com, the king of UK fan websites. Good morning, cat fans. It's fake Billy Clyde with NationalBlue.com. This is the Morning Drive. Touch base with Eric Bledsoe, of course. And I'll answer my uh, NBA coaching question from yesterday. We'll also touch on the Derek Locke, a broken arm that I mentioned and didn't have time to address. We've got Jamal McGlure. Talk more about our football coach. A little Colin Cowherd, the thundering herd there on ESPN. ESPN Radio. Big fan of Colin myself. But first, let's start with uh, Eric Bledsoe. Craig Witherspoon, superintendent of Birmingham City Schools, is going to meet with the Alabama High School Athletic Association to discuss whether there was anything there that they could have done to prevent uh, the Bledsoe saga from starting and, of course, to question Bledsoe's eligibility. If they are to find something, then the NCAA will probably come running right behind them and and start looking into it. And It could mean bad news for Kentucky. So we'll just have to watch that. No news today. That was supposed to start today. So we'll just keep uh, tabs on that, and we'll be keeping you updated as uh, things progress. Next, Jamal McGlure uh, is a resident of Toronto, Canada. Is where he's from. And uh, he recently um, ran across a story of Lucita Charles was murdered. Uh, she was a mother of a 7-year-old boy who had cerebral palsy. And McGlore uh, did more than just uh, see this and think he should do something. Uh, he actually did something. Uh, he paid for the mother's funeral and set up a trust fund uh, for the child. So he actually was upset when this story hit the press and started making news. Uh, he He's done things before in the past, and you know he's doing them because he feels he needs to do them, uh, not to, for, to gain celebrity or, or to get credit for it. Uh, so it's a great thing Jamal McGlore did. Um, Wildcat there it makes us all proud. To, you know, makes everyone feel good just to hear a story like that. Uh, when it's a former Wildcat, that makes you feel even better, especially coming off of uh, you know Antoine Walker uh, stories of squandering away money and and the nine hundred thousand dollars in debt. Uh, Jamal McGlure was by no means Antoine Walker. He didn't make Antoine Walker money, uh, but it's nice to see that uh, there's people out there that are going to do the right thing. Not that Antoine Walker didn't do anything for charity. I'm sure that he did. Uh, but it's good to, to see former Wildcats get this kind of press uh, versus the other. Up next, Derek Locke breaks his arm on a moped. Now, that story is kind of a, a, the moped uh, part of that story. is a story in itself. Uh, one, I'm pretty sure it was not a moped. And for those of you uh, that like to really get in on the details, um, which I do actually, a moped is... Uh, a motorized bike that has pedals on it. If you remember those, you would actually have to pedal the bike to get the motor to kick on and then to go. Now, a scooter is something that typically has you know a motor with an electric start. You push the button uh, and you go. You know, moped, you pedal to start. Scooters, you do not. I really doubt Derek Locke was on a moped. I'm pretty sure it was a scooter. Uh, but you know what they say about mopeds. They're fun to ride, but you don't want to get caught on one. Now, there's more to that saying, and if you can finish that saying and tell me the complete saying, just call in the Nation of Blue uh, fan hotline, 859-379-9219, and I will send you a Nation of Blue t-shirt. So finish that one up. Give me a call. Up next, Kentucky football coach Joker Phillips and his coaching staff will be hosting a football camp in Leslie County on June 24th. Um, Not sure if Matt McCutcheon, assistant offensive line coach, will be there. As we, we reported yesterday, uh, he was arrested in Pike County there at the Hampton Inn, uh, the par- party spot of all party spots. Um, something interesting I ran across from MrSEC.com, some things they were pointing out uh, about uh, McCutcheon's recent arrest and uh, Kentucky and alcohol in general. Now, we know we had the, uh, the Rod Strickland issues. Uh, now we've got the football team, and they pointed out some history here. Uh, I'll go over this. Uh, One, back in 1998, after two football players, if you remember, uh, uh, were killed, uh, officials pushed to retire the Beer Barrel Trophy. Now, the Beer Barrel Trophy is something that, you know, when Kentucky and Tennessee played, they played for the Beer Barrel. You know, and the winner got to take home the Beer Barrel. Well, Tennessee agreed to do away with the Beer Barrel, I guess because they thought it encouraged drinking, right? Uh, So the school should not be promoting alcohol consumption. Uh, that's the big thing with, you know, we need to hold these coaches accountable. We shouldn't promote this. They're coaching our kids. 
But, uh, you know, let's look at it uh, on, from another way. You also have John Calipari and Rich Brooks, you know, with Maker's Mark models. They're autographing, and no one seems to say anything about that. So is UK no longer worried about appearances when, uh, appearances when it comes to Maker's Mark or something that's actually bringing in revenue? Uh, that's a question that they post. Uh, me personally, I don't think a Maker's Mark bottle uh, being autographed is going to encourage people to drink. Actually, I think most people buy those bottles and they never drink what's in them. So they're kind of collector's items. Um, so just something to think about on that one. Up next, uh, Colin Cowherd. Now today, Kentucky was mentioned on the Colin uh, Cowherd show. Uh, that's the Thundering Herd, if you haven't heard of it. Actually, I'm a big Colin Cowherd fan. Uh, so I don't know how to take this one. He was actually talking about Kentucky and uh, Calipari and how UK fans are basically reacting uh, to everyone being on Calipari's uh, case about the recruiting and the Bledsoe issues and how this is really all Calipari's fault. And uh, here's some quotes from his show. He said, Cal knew everything regardless. Uh, he is responsible. Kentucky fan, stop while you're ahead and you're not ahead. How can people not look at Calipari and his record and not see it? How can you be that much in love with anything that you can't see Calipari slippery? Uh, he said, just because he hasn't been convicted means nothing. Michael Jackson wasn't convicted, but you wouldn't want your children with him. So, wow, what do you think about that? Uh, I know it's just uh, another ESPN uh, hate piece on Kentucky. Uh, that's how a lot of people will take it. Myself, I'm a big Colin Cowherd fan, so it hurt me to hear that. There just seems to be a lot of Calipari hatred out there right now in the, in the media and on rival fan message boards in particular. Uh, many of them say, hey, put those banners up with Velcro because you know they're coming down. Uh, here's some quotes from a, um, a message board uh, who's looking for a coach when uh, around the time we hired Calipari. His offense is basically five guys playing a pickup game. They will shoot themselves out of any chance of uh, winning a national title. He certainly knows how to cheat the best. 